Hello, this is Akira from Key Operation. Today we are in Toyama. We would like to show you an office building that we completed recently. Toyama is a prefecture along the Sea of Japan coast. Now I'm walking around Fugan Canal Kansui Park. From here, you can see the majestic Tatayama Mountain Range, which is the North Japanese Alps. Toyama is well known with its Tatayama Mountain Range and Kurobe Gorg and Kurobe Dam with hydroelectric power and Shirakawa Go farmhouse. Toyama is full of rich nature and also there's a delicious harvest from Toyama Bay. Because of abundant water, inexpensive electricity and few natural disasters, there are glass manufacturer and metal manufacturer and also there are IT device manufacturer as well. From the 17th century, in order to overcome the financial difficulties, the lord of the region encouraged the medicine sales. By that time, Kitamaebune shipping route was also developed and it contributed to the growth of the local commodity economy. It also brought the material for the medicine as well. Because of this historical background, there is a huge pharmaceutical industry in Toyama. Our client, Juzen Chemical Corporation, is one of the manufacturers of API, which is active pharmaceutical ingredient. The company was founded in 1950 and now they have three multi-purpose plants. One hydrogenation reaction plant and one pilot plant. They also have research and development center as well. In 2020, they decided to reassemble the administration headquarter function, which was split into the pieces all over the place. The project was called FOJ, Future of Juzen Project. Park Corporation and Key Operation were appointed in this project as architects. We started with a workshop with the company staff from different departments and sections. We discussed what will be the theme of this new office and how they want to make their working environment. They said that the most important working environment is to switch to different modes concentration mode and communication mode. Other thing they requested was to express the culture and the nature of Toyama. The site is by Jinsu River within the industrial area with all the plants around. On the other side we have Fugan Canal Park and we can see the Tatayama mountain range. The block of the site is invaded by two foreign items, a house and a park. Therefore, the site becomes zigzag shape. In order not to cut the morning sun to the house at the front, and also in order not to cast any shadow on the building by itself, we made the south facade flat and the building volume become l shaped The volume is covering the park at the north, so we can view the park from the office. The site is close to the river, so we have carefully checked the hazard map of the area. As the site is within the flood area and the estimated rise of the water level on the basic assumption is up to three meters, we raised the main office area and made the pilot. We only put the entrance lobby and the general service section on the ground floor. There are many advantages if you create this pilot. The first advantage is for the prevention of the flood damages, which I already mentioned. The second advantage is to keep the snow. As it snows a lot in Toyama, there are always a lot of snow left on the street. And this will be a place to keep the snow temporarily. The most important advantage is to create the traffic. As there are many factories around, the people need to go through and the street space will really support the traffic within the company site. This is the front facade. As just mentioned, we raised the building 
so it doesn't interfere too much with the house at the front. There are balconies all the way around the facade so that people can come out and refresh their mind. These balconies are useful in case of fire. Even if two staircases are under fire, people can still evacuate through these balconies. The balconies are also working as eaves as well, and they can control the sunlight around the perimeter zone. The timber louvers are continuous from inside, and it hides some of the air intake and exhaust grills, and it gives warmth to the deck area. This is a facade on the east. This is how you see the building when you approach from the main street. The volume facing the main street has five stories, and the volume at the back facing the side street has three stories because of the height restriction according to the width of the street. The volume is L-shaped and is facing the park at the back. This is the view from the north. We have negotiated with Toyama city government to improve this park. Originally this was a children's park, but the ground was very humid and horizontal bars were completely rusted. We replanted some of the greens and installed new benches. We have made some passages to connect our POT to this park so that the staff of the company can approach the park easily. It is also possible for the people from the area to approach this POT. There's no fence around the POT so anyone can access, so it is like a park. As there are no more children around the area, we also updated the horizontal bar so that even the adults can use them for their exercise. This is the back facade of the low volume. This is a loading bay for the restaurant upstairs and the car park for the disabled. This is the passage from the factory area and this is the back entrance of this building. There are also stairs that you can reach to the restaurant to the second floor directly. This is the west facade facing the factories. The wall of the kitchen is not glass, so we put the external units of the air conditioning. These balconies are covering the building all the way around, and it's mainly used for people, but also can be used for services. This is a sign of the company. These metal posts are expressing the Tatema mountain range, and actually it is representing each mountain height precisely. This is Turegidake, and that is Dainichi. Let's approach the entrance. We have planted the local medical herbs, such as Tsuabuki, Kichijoso, Janohige, Yaburam, and Yatsude. So here's a carriage porch for the VIP. As mentioned already, we also have the direct connection to the city park. So let's go inside. So here's the vestibule of the entrance and we have the interphone here. The greens are continuous from outside to inside because we want to make the entrance hall feel like outside. This entrance lobby is located at the middle of the L-shaped body as it is functional to have stairs and lifts here. We have a big screen here so that we can show the activities of the company. As you can see the ceiling, we have the timber slats continuing from the pillow team outside towards inside. This makes the inside and outside continuous. This is a glass sculpture made by Yuka Kokojima. She's a glass artist from Toyama. Toyama is well known for glass manufacture and she put layers of glass sheets and curved them out with water. Here's the stairs, which is in the middle of the L-shaped plan. The stone came from a Japanese garden made by a founder of this company. Uh, there is a plan to rebuild the house of the founder. We have to remove the stones from the garden. And instead of throwing them away, we move them here and also under the pillow team. On the ground floor, there are small meeting rooms for quick meetings. 
We also have other meeting rooms on the top floor, but it is convenient to have them here next to the entrance lobby. We also have another two meeting rooms along this corridor. And here we have the kitchen, and we have the disabled toilet, and we also have a male post box room, which is here, and we have another toilet too. And on this side, we have the general service. Here we have the work area of the general service department. We can see the green of the park from inside. ま、落ち着いた色味になったので、執務のなんていうか、なんていうか、デスクワークに関してもなんか、ま、気持ち的にも落ち着いてできるような印象にもなりましたし、植物がま、あの、うちの業種に合わせて薬草ですとか、そうい
This side we have the sales department and the production planning department. As a group bond of each department is quite strong, we didn't want to do any free address arrangement. Prior to the office arrangement design, we did the workshop with some of the members of the company in order to figure out what is the best arrangement for their work style. They found out that they want to switch between three different working modes. When they want to do solo work on each desk, they want to concentrate. They also want to have group communication mode using the work lounge and also at this kind of small communication table. The third mode is to have much wider communication with the people from the other companies and with the people from the area. It is also important to switch to the relaxed mode in order to refresh their mind. During the workshop, they also mentioned that it would be nice to have a natural warm material inside the office. That is the reason why we introduced these wood slats on the ceiling. It gives a warmness inside the working area. And along the perimeter, we have created the balconies all the way around to have the external space. People can come out and refresh their mind and also enjoy the fresh air in the mid seasons. The timber slats from inside are continuing towards the eaves outside. It gives a warmness feeling at the balcony and also to the appearance of the building. These eaves created by the balconies are working at the shading control of the facade too. The depth of the balcony is 1.2 meter and this is decided by the culmination altitude of Toyama. In order not to get any heat during the summer, but in winter we can have the heat gain. We have put some lights on the balustrade so that we can light up the timber eaves at night. And actually the electrical cable is supplied from the bottom of the pole. When we have a small slab sticking out from the parapet, we always wonder how to treat the rainwater. We try not to drain to the front, but it is not possible to bring back the water inside the parapet. Therefore, we made a very shallow slope within the short slab, and we put the very small gargoy at the movement joint silicon. At the bottom of the eaves louvers, we have a metal box. This is to fix the mesh of the green screen. Around the stairs, we started putting the green screen as on this side, we will have the sunlight from the west. These balconies are covering up the whole facade and they're also used for the services such as external units of the air conditioning or the boilers. そうですね、ワークショップの中で、まあ、会議室の話とか、まあ、その簡単にこう会議じゃないけど打ち合わせができるスペースがあったらいいなっていう話はしたかと思うんですけど、まあ、それが今、えー、と2階であれば、えー、とラウンジのところでそういったのが実現しているなっていうふうには感じます。えーとちょっと話しようかっていう形でラウンジを活用しているのを最近よく見かけることもあるし自分もそこは活用しているので、まあ、やっぱりちょっと立ち話っていう形で気軽に話せるスペースがあるのはあの非常に良かったなというふうに感じてます。まあ、私は感じるのはやっぱり光がかなりあの入ってくるようになったので部屋全体がうんとても明るいというか話しやすいような穏やかな雰囲気になっているんじゃないかなというところは感じますあとは机のこの大きなあの長付けるところの中でまあ皆さん仕事をされるのでまああの話しかけに行きやすいような相談しやすいようなそういった環境になっているんじゃないかなというふうに私は感じていますそうですねあの隣の部署を反対側の,あの部屋の部署等にはあのしょっちゅうあの必要な資料を取りに行ったりなどして、まあ、その時にあのこの机越しにあのいらっしゃる姿が見えた時に「最近どうですか?」というふうにあの話したりとかそういったところのきっかけにもあのなったりしています。室,室内もですねあの非常に見通しがかなりいいので、まあ、あの都度あのコーヒーをこう一杯飲みに行く時に、まあ、そこにあのいつもお世話になっている方がいらっしゃったらあのどうですかっていうふうに、まあ、非常に話がかけやすいようなあのそういう雰囲気になっているなというふうに感じています。正直最初は戸惑うぐらいにおしゃれでちょっとそわそわしたのもありますあとあの、まあ、業者さんとかがちょっと上の方で会議された時に「ちょっと見てきますか」ってこう、まあ
上の階から降りて案内した時にすごいおしゃれですねってこんな感じのオフィスにできるんですねっていうふうに、えー、とお話しされる方がすごく多かったので、まあ、ちょっとやっぱりおしゃれなオフィスだなっていう実感があります。そうですね、あのー、花粉が一時期ちょっと<笑>ひどい時期もあってとこれで皆さんあの最初の頃は、まあ、どう,こう使ったらいいんだろうっていう迷われてた部分もあったかと思うんですけど最近あのテラスの向かいに食堂であの私ご飯食べてる時にあの食事終わりにあの上の方の階多分テラスの方に出られてる方っていうのもあの少しずつあの増えてきたように思いますので、まあ、あの外の,あの暖かい日差しも出てきたので、えっと、その辺りの,その外の空気を吸ってリフレッシュっていうところをあのテラスの方でしたいなと思われる方もちょっとずつは増えてきたのかなというふうに感じています。今ちょっとそれ思い思いついてしまいました。<笑>なんかミニトマトなんてあったら可愛いけどとか思ってしまった。あとなんか育っていく姿がこう,あそうですちっちゃいあの家庭の菜園で育てるやつでしょ。ちょっと可愛いサイズのとプランあの食べ同じ食べ物でもあのサイズのプランタが多いんでそういったところでこう伸びていく姿を確かに見ていけるいい、ねうん。面白いかも。<笑> Behind these louvers, there are some fresh air intake and exhaust grills hidden inside. Here we are on the second floor, and we have a canteen on this floor. Currently, we have 70 staff working in the headquarters, and there are 310 staff in total when you include the staff working at the factories and the other buildings. They will all have lunch at this canteen. Originally, we were requested to have 70 seats. But as we realized that you need to have more than four shifts to serve all the staff, the seats were increased to 120. This number will require the whole floor of the L shaped plan. So this meant that we needed to put the canteen either on the first floor or on the second floor. We decided to bring to the second floor as it has a better view. So let's try the canteen. So, here you can wash your hands at the sink. And here's、uh, today's menu you have a、uh, chicken cutlet, or the, the Chinese、uh, rice bowl, or some noodles. So, we can take our plateau, and these are the small dishes. I'm gonna try. すみません、経営定食もある。これでいいんでしたっけ結構大好きで辛いものが好きだからです,です、ね。はい、これちょっと初めの方にも出たんですけど、結構ピリ辛で美味しいです。<笑>その日の朝にはぶっちゃけ。なんか今日プリン選んでらっしゃいますけど。プリンはもう大好きです。<笑><笑>僕はこの上にあの屋上みたいなところで晴れた日とかは年近い社員とかと喋ってることがあります。<笑>まあ、私、結構一人でカウンターで食べてでちょっと景色見ながら10分ぐらいここで休んでっていう感じが多いです私も大体カウンター座って外を眺めてから自分の部署のとこに戻ってます私、この前なんか面接に来た方と。なんか面談じゃないですけどちょっとトークしてほしいみたいなことがあった時にここでコーヒーいただきながら過ごせましたどうしなんか講演会とかはここでやられてるのはありましたけど、はいはい、朝来て勉強されてる方とかおられるらしいのでちょっとそれで利用したいなと思ってます。So, in this library, there's some、uh, collection from the president, Hiroka san, and there are also some other useful books. Like, for example, this is like、uh, tax and accounting for the companies, and this is MBA. And 
what else? Here we have a book about like a biochemistry. We've got it in the chemical plants. And some these are some <coughs> chemical laws, etc. What else do we have? We have um, this is a book for the chemical plant, which looks very old, but it's quite interesting that how you build the, the chemical plant. And what else do we have? We have some management SDGs and yeah, this is a book from Hiyota-san. He used to work in Lakten and then he wrote a book about how he worked. On each floor at this corner, we have toilets. And we designed a pictogram which looks like an injector because it's a chemical company. And on the other side, we have a kitchen counter behind the shelves. So we can make a coffee and serve from here. From this window, we can go out to the roof terrace. I think this is the best place in this building. We have seats and tables so people can relax after lunch. We have all different kinds of medical herbs here too. We also have a counter so you can have your coffee with a view of Tatiyama. Sometimes they have family day on the weekends and they can have barbecue here and enjoy your beer. ま、ここ なんか<笑> なんか、<笑><笑><笑> Here we have the accounting department and the IT department.多分どっかで社屋を建て替えるタイミングが来るなと思ってたんですけど、ただまあこういったスケール感で、あの、結構立派な社屋が建つっていうところまでは正直私自身のイメージはしてなかったですね。はい。やっぱりこのテクノロジ
、うん、イメージしていたものとこの出来上がったものが違うみたいな話は聞くんですけど結構今回のプロジェクトについてはなんかそういった相互がすごく少なくこう結構この CG 通りに建物が完成するんだっていうこの何て言うんですかねそこは個人的にすごく驚きましたね。本当なんかパッと見だとリアルなのか CG なのかわからないようなあの映像もあったと思っててそこは本当にテクノロジーの進化を驚きましたね素直に、はい、あの前に比べてすごくあのどういった使い方をするのかっていうところのワークセッションがまあ従業員含めてあったと思っていて、えー、会議室がすごく多くて、えー、そこはすごく助かってますね役員という立場にある私でも実は結構会議室の確保に<笑>困ることもあって多分従業員の皆さんってすごく苦労されてたんじゃないかなと思うんですけど本当に皆さんがコンセプト段階からあの気軽に打ち合わせできるっていうこの環境を作るとか、えー、いろんなところで打ち合わせができるような工夫も仕掛けてくれたおかげですごくあの皆さんと社内のメンバーと打ち合わせがしやすいっていうのはすごくいいところ一番僕が今気に入っているところですかね。はいえっと、富山県内の方はもちろん僕自身が、まあ、なんかあの東京とかあの他県にも知り合いが多いんですけどそういった方たちからもあのすごい本社立ったよねみたいなのことは結構指摘されるのはすごく嬉しいですよね。最終面接ってなりますとだいぶコロナも明けてきましたので本社屋でやるんだと思うんですけどやっぱりこの、えー、エントリーされてくる方ってどういった環境どういったあの場所で。仕事をするのかっていうイメージをつかむ上でも本社を見ながら最終面接であったりあとは会社紹介の際にまあ素敵なカフェテリアとかをですね紹介したり新しい働き方っていうところでライブラリーの存在であったりそういったものを伝えるというのはあの多分この新社屋なくなかりせば<笑>できなかったことだと思うのでその辺はあの、えー分かりにくいところではあるものの貢献があるなと思ってますね。はい、なんかあの会社自身もすごく成長軌道にあって、えっと僕が六年五年前ですね入社した時ってまだ二百五十名ぐらいの会社だったんですけど、それが売り上げとともにえっと生産能力であるとか。こういうい設備拡張あの新社屋も出来上がってすごくこの成長軌道に、えー、ある会社だと思ってます社屋に引けを取らないあの従前科学といえばあの新社屋が素晴らしい会社ではなくて新社屋も素晴らしいし、えー、従業員も、えー、提供するサービスも素晴らしいっていう、えー、ような会社になれるようにあの会社のメンバーと一緒に頑張っていきたいなと思ってます。So here we have the reception for the VIP. We didn't put a typical sofa set because they wanted to work here as well. So we have a one big piece of、um, timber plank table, and in the middle we have the tin plate, which is from the local area. So let's see the president. Hello, hi, hi. nice to see you. So,、um, I would like to ask you some questions about this project.、Uh, first thing I wanted to ask you is that,、um, first of all, I think you just moved in like a month ago or maybe two months ago.、Mm-hmm. How do you settle down in your new room, in、mm-hmm. your room and this reception? How do you feel? Very、uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, especially uh, in, as for my room,、mm-hmm. uh, uh, every day、uh, I come to the office.、Uh, A little bit early morning,、mm-hmm. about、uh, 7 30 a.m.、Mm-hmm. Uh, it is a good time、uh, for me.、Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a lot of uh, tasks、uh, during the, this time.、Okay. Uh, situation is uh, great. Mm-hmm. Uh, my task、uh, mm-hmm. moves forward smoothly. When you decided to come back to this company, you had to take over all those histories.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, when did you get the inspiration of having this new project、mm. to start?、Mm. Yes,、uh, before starting the, this project,、uh, 
we consider a lot how to allocate our facility. Mm -hmm. uh, it means that uh, unfortunately our facility area uh, is uh, divided into uh, four to five parts uh, due to the public road. Mm -hmm. uh, it means that uh, it is uh, very uh, inconvenient mm -hmm. uh, for our employee mm -hmm. uh, to work smoothly. Especially our old uh, headquarter building mm -hmm. was uh, in a uh, uh, factory area. Mm -hmm. uh, that is why uh, we, uh, we discussed uh, internally uh, how to allocate uh, mm -hmm. our the facility allocation, okay. uh, including headquarter office, a warehouse, and the factory, and so forth. Okay. Uh, yes, I see. The facility is very, very important, mm. and at the same time, um, your staff, your employees, is also a very important uh, key mm. for your company, mm. I suppose. So, how did you hope to change the way your employees work with this new office? How do you want them to, to work in this new, new environment? I always uh, say to our employee, uh, let's enjoy working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it, uh, it means uh, I, be, I hope uh, this headquarter uh, will become our base camp to enjoy working. Mm -hmm. uh, through the business, I hope our employees uh, to have uh, is a confidence mm -hmm. and a good experience mm -hmm. uh, through the business. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, as for the working environment, mm -hmm. I would like to support them mm -hmm. um, through the, this uh, new headquarter building. I see, I see. It has been only three months, but uh, since you start using this new office, mm -hmm. do you feel any changes, uh, your staff, mm -hmm. including you? Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Um, I think uh, we set up a lot of uh, communication space, mm -hmm. uh, including the meeting area. Mm -hmm. Um, I think uh, discussion are uh, seen mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, increasing and uh, at the same time uh, as you know uh, we set up the cafeteria as well uh, we have a lot of time uh, to meet each other mm -hmm. I think uh, this headquarter uh, accelerate our communication uh, opportunities I I think I heard before that the canteen is very important in this building. Mm. Where, where the idea come from? How do you find that uh, you thought that the canteen is important? Can you explain to me about the canteen? Um, on my ex uh, company, Lacten, mm -hmm. uh, they provide the lunch for free. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I joined the uh, Juzen in 2015, uh, our company uh, provides a uh, lunch box uh, for free to our employee. Uh -huh. uh, to be honest, uh, I was surprised that to see the scene. I see. When uh, I planned to build the new building, I made a decision uh, to create a new cafeteria mm -hmm. and uh, provide a lunch for our employee for free. Oh, I see. I see. So actually, in fact, that uh, in Nakuten, they were supplying lunch for free, mm. but your company, who was founded by your grandfather and your father, mm. was actually doing the same mm. since a long time ago. Mm. Yeah. So you kind of carried on the history. Yes, <laughs> I connect the dot. <laughs> oh, I okay, okay. Uh, since the opening, I heard that you have many guests mm. came to this office. Um, do you have any feedback from your, from your guests about this building? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Everyone uh, have uh, good impressions for me, and uh, especially uh, when it uh, it is a fine day, uh, we can see the uh, um, Tatiyama uh, mountain range. Uh, it's very beautiful, and uh, at the same time, is uh, I introduce uh, our cafeteria as well. Uh, they are surprised that about our is activity, and. Uh, and uh, we can uh, utilize uh, cafeteria uh, as a discussion space as well. Mm -hmm. We uh, invite uh, some with a guest uh, mm -hmm. to have uh, some with an event as well. Okay. Um, they, they are surprised, surprised about our activity. Okay. Yeah, we received the good feedback for them. So uh, thank you for all these explanations. Mm. 
And the last question that I have is the what is your outlook for the future of the business of Juice and Corporation? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, corporation uh, would like to become a number one CDMO company. Mm -hmm. uh, CDMO means uh, contract manufac development manufacturing organization. Mm -hmm. uh, we are living in Toyama Prefecture. Mm -hmm. uh, Toyama Prefecture is a, a good place, uh, have, has a, a good food, uh, especially fish and uh, water <laughs> and so forth. Yes. And uh, I hope uh, many people uh, come to uh, Toyama to join uh, Juzen Chemical Corporation. Mm -hmm. And uh, continuously, uh, we live in Toyama locally. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, uh, we would like to work uh, globally. Okay. It's my dream. Here, we are at the top floor. We have a different size meeting room on this floor. The visitor will go through the entrance lobby and arrive to this meeting lounge. We have the lounge area here and we have this counter where you can serve drinks to the visitors. From here, you can see the research center on the other side and you can see the other factories as well and you can also see the Jinsu River from the stairs as well. As we can see all these views, we made the map showing the surrounding buildings so that they can explain all the facilities to the visitors. This bronze panel used to be on the north entrance wall, which is demolished, so we reclaimed and installed it here. On this side we have two meeting rooms, one small size and one middle size. All the meeting room has the name of the scientist. Here we have Hoffman and Pastor. We thought that it would be more interesting to put names on the meeting rooms instead of room numbers. They thought about symbol of elements as they were a chemical company and at the end they decided to put names of the scientists. On this side we have some more meeting rooms and at the end of this corridor we have a large meeting room. The name of this room is Watson. This is Jane Watson who found the double helix structure of the DNA molecule with Francis Crick. In this room we have the best view of the Tatiyama mountain range. We can have a different arrangement according to the activity such as lectures and etc. So from here you can go outside as well. So now I just came out from the main meeting room on the fifth floor. And actually, we are very lucky because we're looking at the Tatiyama mountain range. You don't see much on the springtime because it's always a bit misty. And on this side, we see the Jinsu River and the fourth floor roof terrace here as well. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.